Well, hundreds of Boston hotel workers are back on the picket line, but unlike the past several times, union members say they won't go back to work until a deal is done. NBC 10's Anika Hope live outside the Hilton Boston Logan Airport, where those workers continue to gather this evening. Anika? Yeah, well, a few employees out here right now told me they work two jobs just to feed their families, just to pay rent. So they say until there's a fair agreement, they'll be out here working the picket line instead. Monday, hundreds of hotel workers swapped out their hospitality uniforms for union shirts and ponchos. What do you want? What do you want? The strike kicked off Sunday outside the Hilton Boston Park Plaza and the Hilton Boston Logan Airport. The demand for large hotel companies, including Hilton, to agree to reforms around pay, pensions, benefits, and workloads. If we don't find, we're not going to win. Rian Shavoub is a hotel sous chef. He says he can't afford to live close by, so he drives around 120 miles every day. I mean, just the gas, it costs me around 350, 400 bucks a month to come here to work. I mean, enough is enough. The strike is led by Unite Here Local 26. The union represents employees of around 30 hotels in Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Employees like Dorman and Bellhop, Nicholas Giacobbe. We don't want to be doing this. We want to be working. Sunday, a letter from management at Park Plaza apologized to guests for any inconveniences, stating, we do not anticipate any significant disruption to hotel operations as a result of today's activity. However, at this time, housekeeping will be limited to your departure. Some guests supported the strike. Yeah, I mean, if I knew that, I would have chosen a better hotel where they actually took care of their employees. This is the latest strike of many since contracts expired in late August. Workers warn this time they will pick it until negotiations are made. I feel for some of my co-workers who are solo providers and single providers. not seen an official statement from Hilton just yet, but union members here told me that they will be out here until about 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's when they will stay, but they will cut out the noise. They hope their continued presence, though, speaks volumes. In Boston, I'm Anika Hope, NBC 10 Boston.